A troubling new survey from the Anti-Defamation League showing that anti-Semitism is on the rise in America. 20% of those polled believe in anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and tropes. That's nearly double the number in 2019 and a 30-year high. Joining us now is Anti-Defamation League CEO and National Director Jonathan Greenblatt. Jonathan, so let me take off some of the, your findings. 53% of those surveyed say that Jews will go out of their way to hire other Jews. 40% say Jews are more loyal to Israel than to the U.S. 24% say Jews have too much influence on Wall Street. All of these are inaccurate, and uh, I'd like you to expand on how you approach the survey differently this time, and how do you, what do you do to, yeah. to disabuse people of all of these hateful thoughts? Yeah, well, Please. thank you for the question and uh, for giving me the opportunity. I would say a few things. So number one, as you said at the top, the 20 percent of Americans today believe in, you know, widely held anti-Semitic ideas. That, Andrea, is almost double the number that we saw in 2019. It's the highest level we've seen in three decades. That's as many as 52 million Americans who believe in classic anti-Semitic ideas and tropes. We found at least three quarters of Americans subscribe, subscribe to at least one of these theories. And so that is pretty staggering. We also found a significant overlap between anti-Jewish conspiracy theories and highly negative sentiments toward Israel. So you hate the Jewish state, chances are you also deeply dislike the Jewish people. And young people have more anti-Israel and only slightly less anti-Jewish sentiments. So this isn't an issue that seems to be alleviated with younger people. In fact, it's quite, it's quite pronounced. So what do we do? I mean, we use this information to design programs, to improve interventions. If we can understand the problem and diagnose the causes, then we have a shot at trying to turn it around. What do you attribute this to? I think there are a few things. I mean, keep in mind that we've seen anti-Semitic incidents surge over the last few years, Andrea, as we've discussed on your show. In 21, we had nearly triple the number of anti-Semitic acts that we had back in 2016. It's the highest year on record. So I think extremists felt emboldened I think social media has been a super spreader of anti-Semitism. And now the attitudes are following. So the attitudes are a bit of a lagging indicator. But this is a very, you know, honestly, it's a scary snapshot. It takes my breath away to think that literally 17% of Americans are telling us they are unwilling to spend time or be in the same space with the person who supports the Jewish state. I mean, that is without precedent. And to think that by the way, the hardest core haters, this 20% of people, I mean, 52 million Americans, there's only six and a half million Jews in the United States, Andrea. So at a time when anti-Semitism is on the rise, this data confirms that something is definitely going on. And let's keep in mind, we did this study with the University of Chicago. We did it, it was peer reviewed by a panel of academics. I mean, this is really fairly bulletproof which makes us all the more worried. This weekend, Andrea, is the one-year anniversary of the incident in Tocqueville, Texas last year, where a rabbi was taken hostage by an ISIS-inspired person because he thought the Jews had all the power. So this reminds us that attitudes and rhetoric create real-world consequences. Jonathan Greenblatt, we will follow up and keep reporting on this. Thank you.